Hey guys, welcome. I want to do a video today on how to stamp on a napkin and then laminate it. Um, so I had this idea when I needed to laminate something for the recipe box that I'm making for my man's sister. You can laminate just one side of the paper. You have So you have to put in two pieces of um, copy paper and then you can put something on the other side to laminate that too. That way you're not, um, you're getting the full use of the laminating sheet. I needed to laminate something else, so I wanted to laminate a napkin. That's what I usually do is just laminate a napkin, but I have like pretty napkins, but I didn't want to laminate any more of those. So I just grabbed this napkin here like this. This is just a napkin from Jack in the Box. Like, why do I keep forgetting that? But I didn't want to just laminate just this like plain. So I was like, well, let me stamp on it and see how that looks and then laminate it and see what it looks like. So I actually did one already. Um, and I've actually already tried to film this video twice. This, this is the one I did when I tried to film it the first time and it came out gorgeous. I love it. It's amazing how cool it looks. So I did this one and so I wanted to do some more and I also of course wanted to refilm the video because I wasn't liking the way it was coming out. Like this came out gorgeous. So yeah, I want to refilm it for you. And I'm not sure why this one came out so big still. I need it to be big enough for the laminating sheet. Okay, so the second time I tried to film it, it came out like this and I used, so on this one here I used the Stazon ink and it didn't bleed. So I think this one here I used um, the, just what's it called the archival ink the Tim Holtz archival ink ground espresso and it bled like I there's supposed to be words in here <laughs> you can't even read them and then this one same thing happened and then I just like some of the stamps just didn't come out as clear as I wanted so, so I'll probably still use these for something because I don't want to throw them away I guess stays on ink is probably the best option just to make sure it doesn't bleed okay so I'm gonna use this stamp for the like just to stamp um some script all over it yep so, and this one comes out looking almost black but I like it I need to get some more stays on ink, apparently. There. Okay, that's good. Next, I'll do some of these stamps. I like just using my hand. I'm gonna have to clean my mat after this because I'm making a mess. I am having so much fun stamping lately. It's just like so therapeutic and really helpful with stress. I hope you guys like this idea but I didn't see it anywhere on YouTube. I thought it was so cool. It's such a neat idea. So yeah, I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys try it. I'm gonna be using matte laminating sheets because I just love the way it looks because it looks like paper still. Like I haven't tried this with the regular like glossy uh, laminating sheet. You know, I just think it'd be cool to try it like this. But you can try it with a glossy one too if you want. Totally up to you. Okay, and then let's switch to... Actually, you know what? I need another one up in that corner because I like this stamp. That's cool that it still it doesn't go off the page but it still ends. Okay, let's switch to this one. I think this ink is better. But, I mean, I don't know about the other types of stamps I'm going to use, but I don't think this one bleeds. I'm definitely going to have to get some more stays on ink because I didn't realize that the archival ink did that. I only have one stays on ink in timber brown, so I need to get black and other colors. Okay, I do want to put one more. I'm just going to do it like this because I don't want to make a mistake. Okay. There we go. That's good. Okay, and then I want to do... Um, do I want to do flowers? I have this one here with the roses. I don't really want the um, script in it, but I can stamp it without that. Just make sure I don't stamp, I don't get the ink on that. If it does get a little bit, that's okay. Uh, let's see, what one right there? No, um, let's see, one over here. Well, yeah, that's what I want to hear. I'm gonna do one over here and then let me go off the page. That way if any ink did get on there, which I think I wiped it all off. Ooh, that one looks good. Yeah, I like that. That one didn't come out very well, but that's okay. I can't go over it again because I don't want to mess it up. 
that's okay. Um, I think that's it for that. I don't want too many of those. And then we'll do some words. I got own your dreams. Good laminator still on. <laughs> Probably have to turn it back on because I know it's going to go off before I finish the other one. Press through really good. Okay, there we go. This is the one I was worried about with the other one and it didn't work. So with this ink, it should be fine. Okay, there we go. Like I said, the other one didn't bleed at all, so this one shouldn't. Now let's do this one. Yeah, let's do this one here. And I'm gonna do this one. What do you guys think? Love you to the moon and back. Do that one right there. No, I don't think I want to do that one. Let's see, let me look for some more words. Okay, I wanted to do some stamps like this. I thought that was cute with the pretty flowers. I haven't used this one yet. That one right there. Oh shoot, I think I just accidentally touched it. Oh, no, I don't think so. Okay. Okay, I need something in the middle. This one's actually filling up pretty quick because I'm using bigger stamps. Let me see what other stamps I can find with words on them. Oh, I know I have the other ones. Let me, I'll be right back. Okay, I found some, this one here, beautiful and happiness blooms within, from within. That's cute. There's one that says hope. I did these on a, I think, oh yeah, that's right. That's what I did it on. On the covers that I was going to use for my book that I was trying to make for my stamps. But didn't work out because I have too many. So, <laughs> and then I found these pretty roses. Since I put that rose or these roses here, I found these ones. Well, I just got this set. I haven't used this one yet, so I thought it'd be cute to use on this one. So let's go ahead and put this one. I like this stamp. Put it right there. 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 And I think I'll put one right here. At least this time I didn't rip the napkin. The last two times I ripped the napkin and I had to tape it on the back. I can't even tell. Shoot. Where can I put this one? I don't know if I'll be able to see it if I put it there. Down here? Yeah, let's put it down here. If it's on top of that one, that's okay. I can't see it very well, but... I want to put the flower there. Or maybe I can put a little flower. Like a small rose. This one? That's pretty. Yeah, let's do this one. What do you guys think? Well, I haven't done much with roses. Like one of my little spring journals ended up being rose themed. But I haven't done that much else with roses. I'm not running out of room already. I think this one's almost done. Let's see, you can put one here and that way it can cover up that spot. There. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so then we can put this one here. Okay, I don't think I have any smaller stamps. I think this one's actually done. Could put something there, but I don't have anything small. I have this cute little London stamp. There's another little rose. That's cute. But I have enough roses there now. These stamps are a pain to get off. I don't know why. It says London, but oh well. I don't have anything else that says London, but that's okay. It's still cute. Just fill in some empty spots that just have script in them. So, um, one down there off the page a little bit and I think that's it for that one so now I gotta go ahead and do the other one and I still have to do the laminating okay I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this mess and then create a new mess with different stamps <laughs> let's do one off the page like this maybe that wasn't the best idea <laughs> Yeah, that's good enough. This time I started with, I think, the collect one. I'm not trying to do it in any way that I did it last time. That right there. That's cool. <laughs> So this is the one I had trouble with last time. It says handle with care. And of course I messed up this one, but that's my fault. It didn't bleed. I just tried to go over it and I shouldn't have. <laughs> I 
I do like this hand. This is cute. It has like three of these in different sizes. Small, medium, and large. <laughs> do it down here. Yeah, see, there's no bleeding. So, yep, it's definitely the ink. <laughs> wow. Okay, that probably wasn't the best idea, but that's okay. Put that one right there. Big empty spot. Just calling out its name. Finest in the world. And then one right. Oh yeah, I gotta get those numbers. Put that there. Let's put one off the page. That one is done. And I did the number seven. I wasn't filming, but that's my lucky number, so that's why I did that one. I didn't realize I wasn't filming. Get attention off of that. Let's see, one right there. And see, yeah, they don't bleed. They haven't bled. No bleeding. One right there. One right there. And that's it. I like this one. I gotta figure out where to put it now. Right there. Right there. I did the label. I need something there. That one. And one right there. But there's nothing there. I didn't do this one last time. I'm just stamping randomly now. I mean, we've all, we've all been random stamping, but... <laughs> okay, there it is. All done. It looks so cool. I just got to laminate them now. The laminator's still going. I'll have to wait for it to heat up again. Yeah, it looks so cool. It looks so much better than this one. <laughs> Look at that. That's crazy. I just can't believe it. But yeah, so let's go ahead and laminate them. Let me grab my laminator, I mean laminating sheets, and I'll be right back. Okay, so these are the laminating uh, sheets that I have. I got them from Amazon. The Oregon uh, Laminations Premium. I will link them down below. Um, they are matte and this one only came with 25 pieces but I've had this forever and I actually just started using it so I still have quite a bit but so yeah this is what it looks like just like a regular laminating sheet but it's matte I mean like I said you can do this with glossy if you want I just prefer matte because it looks more like paper but totally up to you how you want to do it okay so you stick the f one in like this actually like this <laughs> I really need to bring my laminator, laminator up here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off and then back on just to make sure it doesn't go off on us. <laughs> okay, so then you take two pieces of copy paper. I'm using one that I used before, so I'm not having to use a new piece every time. So I got them in perfectly lined up and everything, and we're good to go. So you just take it and put it through your laminator. You can pick it up and just take it and put it through the laminator. Here it comes, it looks so cool. Oh my goodness, this is so awesome. I hope you guys like this, I hope you guys try it. It's so much fun, it just, just looks so cool. It's so thin, and it still feels like paper on the other side. You can glue it on the whatever, or you can turn it into a journal cover, and like glue a piece of, glue it onto a piece of cardstock. And there's still some empty space up here on this one. Okay, so there it is. There's the other side. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna run it through one more time just to make sure it's sealed and then we'll cut it out. Okay, so yeah, run it through twice. Don't know if it made much of a difference, but I just wanted to make sure. So then you just take either your scissors or your, what's it called? Cutting tool. I forget what they call it, but I'm gonna use my X-Acto blade because every time I use my paper cutter, that's what it's called, I end up cutting off too much. You just cut off all four corners. Make sure you don't cut into the napkin. Sometimes, like here, I might have to, but that's okay. I must have moved again or else I just didn't. I had too much, I don't know. Let's see, I don't think it opened up anywhere. Yeah, I might have to cut off some more. It didn't open up anywhere. Okay, let me cut off a little more. Yeah, see, it's supposed to open up, yeah, like that, like, see? And cut off some more on the edges. Okay, there's one. And there's one more corner. I just like using this because it's more straight than using scissors. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting this out and I'll be right back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so there they are, all cut out and everything. They look beautiful. I love it. It's just amazing. I can't get over how cool it is. Like every time I do this, I just am amazed. <laughs> it's so cool. Yeah, I like how this one here, the 
You can see the napkin imprint where it didn't stamp it hard enough, but still looks so cool. Here's the other one. And this one here, I can still see the inspection. So, you know, that's fine. <laughs> and like I said, you can um, still glue it onto something because this side is not laminated. So you can glue it onto a piece of cardstock or something and turn it into a journal cover or you can do whatever you want with it. Like I said, you just make sure you put two pieces of um, copy paper in between the two so that it doesn't laminate on the other side and you're all set. So I hope you enjoyed the video and let me know if you try it. Let me know in the comments what uh, kind of laminator you, laminating sheet you used, uh, matte or glossy. I would love to know and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, share with your friends. Like I said, I'm planning a series. I have a bunch of videos planned for that. I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye guys.